In this lesson, we will look at generating cross-sectional reports from a CBCT scan. This can be a valuable tool in which a series of cross-sectional slices may be generated through a selected region of interest. To begin, we must decide which type of cross-section we would like to create. The options vary depending on which mode tab is selected. Under the Orthogonal Slicing tab, you may create axial, coronal, or sagittal cross-sections. Under Curve Slicing, you may create panoramic, oblique coronal, or implant cross-sections. Under Custom Slicing, you may create posterior anterior, lateral, or implant cross-sections. And under Oblique Slicing, you may create oblique axial, oblique coronal, or oblique sagittal cross-sections. Please note, you may only create implant cross-sections if there have been virtual implants placed within the volume. Otherwise, the option will be grayed out. To create a cross-section, choose the appropriate slicing tab, then, under the Export Tools, click the Generate Cross-Section button. The Cross-Sectional Tool dialog will appear. First, select the slice type. The region of interest views change to reflect your slice type. Next, click and drag the colored dotted lines in the region of interest views to set your region boundaries. Next, set the slice count. The default slice count is set by your defined region of interest, but you may modify it here. You may also lock the slice count so that your region of interest boundaries remain a fixed distance apart. If you lock your slice count, you may not change the slice count or the slice spacing. If you have not locked the slice count, you may further define your slice spacing. If you choose parallel slicing, to generate parallel slices between your region of interest boundaries, then you may set your spacing using the drop-down in either micrometers or millimeters. If you use angular slicing, you may generate slices in a circle, the center point of which is the point where the transaxial slice, or the blue line, crosses the plane of the axial slice, or the yellow line. For this option, spacing is measured in degrees. You may also set integration thickness, which is dependent upon the native acquisition size, and you can choose an integration mode of either the default of averaging or maximum intensity projection, or MIP. You may also choose which print template to use, and also set the mouse mode to control how your mouse scroll wheel will function once the cross sections have been generated. Click Print to launch the Film Composer to manipulate and print your cross-sections, or click Review to display your slices on the Review tab before sending them to the Film Composer. Once in the Film Composer, there are many things that you may change about your report. If your template is not set to import default information, you may modify it here, including your name, practice address, logo, etc. You may adjust image placement by hovering over the image, right-clicking and dragging the image. Left-click and drag left or right, up or down to adjust brightness and contrast. By hovering your mouse over any image, you may also move to the image toolbar and adjust zoom control, text that will be displayed under any given image, which objects you would like visualized, you can reset the brightness and contrast, or access the image selector. We would advise you to watch our very comprehensive lesson on the CS3D Film Composer for more complete information. You can scroll through the pages of the report at the bottom, and when finished, either print to a PDF file for easy email capability, or send your report to a printer. If you have questions about this or any of our products, please contact us at 800-944-6365 or visit us on the web at carestreamdental.com. 
Please also take note of the system requirements for best software performance.